hard body peeps, it's Erin Stern. You guys posted some great questions on my Facebook wall again, and I've chosen a few to go ahead and answer today. The first one comes from Mitzi. I need advice on cardio post leg day. Do you continue with your normal cardio or lessen the intensity or do any at all? Usually after leg day, um, I try to get at least eight hours of rest between each of my workouts. So if I'm doing a two a day, um, maybe I'll wake up the next day after doing legs and I'll do something low intensity like a nice walk, just something to kind of loosen up the muscles. But I, I try not to do two back-to-back -back high intensity days. The next question comes from Tony. He asks, do you work multiple body parts in one workout or work one body part per day per week? The split that I'm on now, I do two leg days per week. I have a heavy leg day and then a functional leg day, and then I'll break it down into one body part per week. Every once in a while, I'll mix it up and I'll do um, like an upper body circuit and then I'll do a lower body circuit, or I may do a push and a pull. Um, but I like to vary it uh, every four to six weeks just so I don't hit a plateau and just to continue to keep my body guessing. The next one comes from Sue. She asks, what is your favorite slash best exercise for shoulders? My favorite exercise by far would be um, anything in the Olympic lifts or power lifting. I love to do cleans, um, I love to do push jerks, um, but as far as traditional lifts, shoulder press is probably my favorite exercise to do either on the Smith machine or on the shoulder press machine. Um, and I like that because you don't have to use stabilizers as much and you can, you can tend to go heavier and really focus on the shoulder rather than trying to stabilize free weights. The next question comes from Pavni. She asks, I've always wondered what the amount of sodium should competitors take in during the final week of training before a contest. Um, usually, I don't watch sodium, um, you know, until that last week, and it's recommended that you take between 1,500 and 2,000 milligrams per day on, on a normal daily basis. But I, I try to stay below 200 milligrams when I'm getting ready for a show, and I also drink plenty of water because that will continue to, to flush whatever sodium, whatever water you might have, um, and you might be holding, continues to flush out. The next question comes from Crystal. She asks, I was wondering if you train abs every day, and if not, is that okay to do so? I currently don't train abs every day. Um, I've, I've heard it every single way you can do it. Some people train calves every day. Um, it's just sort of personal preference, but I, I really prefer to just do sprints and I'll do some medicine ball work. Um, very rarely will I do traditional crunches or traditional abs, but that's just how I am. And um, I think there's no problem with training abs every day if you feel like you get results that way. And uh, that's it for questions. So until next week, stay hard, buddy. Thanks. I'm a peacock with no tail feathers. And I'm a hard body. Are you?